Okay, hi guys. So, instead of just posting a picture of a black screen, I thought I need to share something which was somewhat personal to me. So, you know, before we reach the United States of America, which is by all means well and good, you, you may stand up for whoever you want to stand up, but we come from a country called Malaysia, which is multiracial, and we have many races, and on the map, we look pretty impressive on how we live in harmony but um, you and I know that I mean it's not to a very bad extreme but yes all these little little forms of racism still exist amongst us so I'm gonna share a little personal experience I had this good friend um, this person was of mixed ethnicity and this person um, you know when you let's say I'm Indian and if I go around or if I were to call another Indian hey you're coconut man like me you know, we're brown outside and we're white inside, can't really speak demo. It's fine because I'm Indian, you're Indian, well and good. And so when you mix that ethnicity, wow, you can make jokes on both sides, you know, makes you the cool person in the party. And, you know, initially, like, the jokes and all these little um, remarks or uh, whatever you want to call it, funny and whatnot and laugh along and all that. But over time, it became quite offensive which I personally didn't like and I told this person you know that's the first time like I was like no I gotta like do something about it you know it's not right because that person was a good friend you know it's just that this part about this I did not like and even being after confronting this person having confronted this person things didn't change so yep we're not friends anymore and I do not regret the decision until today it's because I just tried to prove a point and what, where am I getting to at is that what I meant by the title of this video that sometimes it's our fault is it is our fault sometimes because we encourage this kind of nonsense in the name of a joke so if I think it's okay to laugh of course another race is going to be laughing at it right I mean I, I'm, I'm not trying to um, stir a racial thing right now but that's just how it is because that's what happened like when I laughed other people laughed too because I thought it was funny when I said something stupid about my own race everybody laughed too because I said it and maybe that's how Indians are I don't know for example you go to a hospital past 12 o'clock mm, India Marco or Auntie Kunjumani comes to visit you and then she's like girl you're doing sports you're going to be more dark who's going to marry you or your neighbor you got good old neighbor be like, ask the, Ina, ask the Indian Anna to catch you. Huh? These are not jokes or, or statements that are being made in 2020. These were stuff being done all the way back, God knows when. Like, I don't know, you know, like maybe more than a decade already, but it still exists. Why does it still exist? Because we haven't really stood up for anything. I'm not talking about just Indians, I'm talking about every other race on this um, country, you know. So sometimes it does start with us. Don't twist my words. I'm not saying that if you're wearing a bikini and you get raped, it's your fault. What I'm trying to say is this is a totally different context. You know, please try to um, absorb it a bit more maturely. So yes, yeah, sometimes we think it's funny and we laugh along and we clap our hands, but that's not how it should work. I think it's about, it was about time. This was like a year ago already that you need to voice out and you need to say that hey it's wrong don't do that you know don't don't say things like that because if not the situation is just going to get out of hand and like you know on a big whole different level and yeah i mean i don't i totally i don't really know what's the exact story but just from a video sometimes in a video there are bits and pieces but either way it looked wrong and i hope justice is served where it should be served and um just to end this I just want to say that Malaysia and Semenanjung in Peninsula, they are like three major races. And where I'm working and staying right now is Borneo. Um, Malaysia has got two additional states, Sabah and Sarawak, that are on the Borneo Island. And they are larger than the peninsula. And they've got probably, they've definitely got more than 10 to 15 races just on this island. And what's so lovely is that they are living in harmony, you know. So many races and different cultures, different, different, different cultures. They may differ slightly, but it's nice to see they all live in harmony. Of course, of course, maybe as an outsider or a, or a third person, like I may not see the finer details where there are a little bit of um, misunderstandings here and there. 
which house with a husband and wife doesn't have misunderstandings, right? I mean, I do expect, but still, the compromise is so beautiful and that's one of the reasons I really love working here and I'm grateful to be serving here. So, yeah guys, think about your circle and their implications on how they throw certain remarks and how you react to it is more important. So that's all I'm going to say for today.